Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you the flight path accuracy during a waypoint mission. I'm going to be flying over a football field so you'll have field lines that you could use as a reference during the flight. The mission is going to include straight runs, acute turns, curve turn, altitude changes, and then I'm going to run it with a 5 mile per hour run the first time and then a 15 mile per hour run for the second run. Okay, here's a quick video showing you the path. Here's a 90 degree turn and then here we come to a 90 degree turn with a curve turn. And then a 90 degree turn. I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to increase the altitude by 40 feet, fly across laterally, and then come down to 10 feet from the 50 foot height, fly across and then here's a acute turn right here. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this mission going. Okay, so initially we're going to be following the sideline. And the first turn will be at the 50 yard line, a 90 degree turn. You can see it's following the sideline quite accurately here. Alright, here's the turn. You could see that it did overshoot it a little bit, the 50 yard mark, and it is not exactly along the 50 yard line, maybe off by a yard or so. Okay, and then at the sideline, we're gonna do a 90 degree turn, transitioning into a curve turn. All right, now we're following along the curve turn here. This is at five miles per hour, and so the second run will be going faster at 15 miles per hour, so that'll be the second clip after this. Okay, here we are at the goal line and the sideline. We're gonna make a 90 degree turn. Right there. fairly close to the sideline. And then what's gonna happen here is we're gonna increase altitude. We're at about 10 feet, and then we're gonna go up to 50 feet, and then go forward right there. Okay, and then now we're going to be descending right here. And then we're gonna turn 90 degrees. And then when we approach the sideline, we're gonna make a acute turn. Now it's a little bit hard to notice, but there is some overshoot on each of these sharp turns. And I'll show you that a little bit better later in this video. Okay, so that's the end of this first run. All right, so now we're gonna do the exact same run, except we're gonna increase the speed from five miles per hour to 15 miles per hour. And during this run, you'll see the overshoot is going to be a lot more prominent in watching the video here. All right, so let's go ahead and fire up the Mavic.
Now I did restart the Mavic and the remote control prior to this run and you can see it's a little off from the sideline maybe by a yard or so so just be aware of that. Here's the 50 yard line and you can see how far it overshot and same thing here right there and there's a sideline so it's correcting and then now here's the curved turn. It's going to overshoot here as well. Notice where the sideline is. And here it's increasing in altitude. And then flying forward. Descending here. and 90 degree turn and here comes the acute turn right here so again take a look at the overshoot okay coming back home so after this clip I'm going to show you an overlay of the actual flight path for both runs in a 3D dimensional viewpoint So here's the 3D flight path for both runs. Okay, you can see here the overshoot at this 90 degree turn. And this one here at the acute turn. Here's a little bit better angle. Now let's take a closer look here. So for five miles per hour, it overshot by about a yard. And at 15 miles per hour, it overshot by about three and a half yards. Okay, over at this turn, about the same. Let's take a look at it vertically. And you can see that it overshot there. This self-correct as it goes up and the vertical overshoot the height seems to be pretty nominal so that doesn't seem to be a factor here's the overshot again alright guys so in summary allow about a 5 foot overshoot when you're flying at 5 miles per hour 10 feet at 10 miles per hour 12 feet at 15 miles per hour the vertical overshoot I found that to be very nominal curve turns found that to be very minimal in deviation between flight paths between the 5 mile per hour run and a 15 mile per hour run. I did also run a point of interest test where I had that located right in the middle of the field and I found very nominal deviation between flight paths just by having the camera focus in at the center of the field. Waypoint pin location relative to the actual flight path I would allow about a 3 feet deviation there. All right, so that is it, you guys. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, appreciate you hitting that like button. Got a lot more videos coming up with the Mavic, so please go ahead and subscribe if you like. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye.